Keep your hope alive. Second day with this word for you today. Romans chapter 5, 5 says, And hope does not disappoint us, because God has poured out His hope into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom He has given us. Hope. What is hope? Hope's a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen. How important is hope? Well, the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, it says, Now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. Hope's one of the three greatest things we need to live. So how does hope help us in life? As we go through life, what is it that hope does for us? One, it motivates us. When we're ready to quit, it keeps us going. When you've had lost a loved one, or maybe a dream has been shattered, or you've, you've had, feels like your life pulled out from under your feet. We remember, remember what God said, that he would never leave us or forsake us. And we keep going, why? Because there's, there's hope for tomorrow. Hope motivates us. Also, hope strengthens us physically and mentally. Hope helps us to be optimistic. If we're optimistic, we tend to eat better and rest better. Uh, better rest and eating makes us stronger physically, so we are less liable to give in to illnesses. Also helps us to think more clearly. We look for solutions rather than despair. So hope motivates us, it strengthens us, and it helps us to have healthy relationships. Have you ever talked to somebody who's always doom, doom and gloom? You know, it's like Eeyore on uh, uh, Winnie the Pooh. Eeyore is just always going around. Uh, everything's bad. You know some people like that? I do. Don't you just love being around them? Boy, you walk away from there and you just feel so good, don't you? No, no. You don't want a relationship with somebody like that. You want a relationship with somebody that's going to build you up. It's going to be encouraging. But how about you? Are you and I, are we an Eeyore or are we a person that people like to be around? Because when they walk away from us, they feel encouraged and, and built up. Hope also fights fear. See, fear can immobilize us into inaction. We're afraid to do anything. Hope get, keeps us going, even in the face of fear. And then hope heals us. Gets us up in the morning. Gets us to work. We do things because we have the hope. We know that things are going to get better. We don't know when, but we know that things are getting better, so we just get up and we keep going. Don't know if it's going to be today or tomorrow or next year, but we keep going. Hope keeps us going. And when we keep going, there's always hope. And where does hope come from? Well, Scripture passage tells us. God has poured out His love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom He has given us. The Holy Spirit that dwells within you. One thing he brings with him is hope. Hope. There was a man named Eugene Land. He was a millionaire. He was asked to speak at a, a very poor inner city school. There were 59 sixth graders. It was towards the end of the year. And he was speaking to them. And, and he wrote out a speech. And he stood before them. And he thought, what am I going to tell these kids? The school they went to, most kids drop out of school way before they graduate, before they get to 12th grade. And so he took his notes, put them back in his pocket, and he said, I'm just going to speak from my heart. So he looked at him and he said, stay in school. He says, and I'll tell you what, you stay in school and graduate and I'll help every one of you get to college. You know, an incredible thing happened. 80% of the kids dropped out of school by the time they became a senior. Here, 90% of the kids, 90% of the kids went on to graduate from their high school, and he helped them go to college. One of the kids said this when he told them he would get them to college. He said, I had something to look forward to, something waiting for me. It was a golden feeling. They had hope. Hope is so important. God knows that. That's why he said these three things remain, faith, hope, and love. The greatest is love. But hope is right there with it. Do you have hope for tomorrow? Do you have hope that things are going to get better? Maybe our health will get better, maybe it won't. Maybe our memory will get better, maybe it won't. 
But things can be better because God said he would never leave us or forsake us. Hang on to that hope. And when you do that, it helps other people to look to God for hope too. Hope you have a good day.